The official titles for Disney Plus's Percy Jackson live action TV show adaption have finally been revealed. Today, I'm going to tell you what I think every single episode will be about, and in order to figure this out, I will combine some official information we have gotten so far, also paired with some leaks and speculation. Disney will naturally have to make some cuts and changes here and there to the original source material, so I'm gonna try to predict what those will be. So without further ado, let's get into it. Before we get into the title names, I have to mention it has been confirmed that the first season will only contain 8 episodes, but each episode is planned to be about an hour, so if you're comparing it to a normal TV show episode, which is typically around 20 minutes, each hour long episode is more like 3 traditional episodes put together. Also, when you compare this to the runtime of the movies, which was 2 hours, the series has 4 times the amount of content meaning a lot less of the original source material has to be cut, also allowing the show to have much more time to flesh out the characters and storyline. Now getting into the official titles of the episodes, we start off with episode 1 being called I accidentally vaporized my pre-algebra teacher, episode 2 being I became a supreme lord of the bathroom, episode 3 we visit the garden gnome emporium, episode 4 I plunge to my death, Episode 5, A God Buys Us Cheeseburgers. Episode 6, We Take the Zebra to Vegas. Episode 7, We Find Out the Truth, Sort of. And finally, Episode 8, The Prophecy Comes True. You've probably recognized this, but all of these titles are actually names of the chapters in the Lightning Thief book. I think this is a perfect way to showcase how much harder they are trying to keep to the source material this time around. While we're talking about the script, the writers for each episode have been revealed as well, with Rick having writing credits on episode 1, 2, and 5. Rick having a large portion of the writing credits makes me much more confident for the release, but some keen fans might have also noticed another name from the list as well, Joe Trax. For those that don't know, Joe also worked on the Lightning Thief musical, really cool to see him involved in the show as well. On the topic of keeping to the source material, Rick answered this exact question in an exclusive D23 interview. When asked, how closely did you hew to the book, he replied, In terms of the plot, we stuck with it very closely. What I will say though, that I found really fascinating is that we were able to look at the story, which I wrote back in 2005, and say, what do I wish I had done at that time? What background can we give these people that know the story backwards and forwards, but still have questions like, how did Sally meet Poseidon? Or what were Percy's experiences in school before we see him in the first chapter? We were able to dive into that, and flesh out the history of these characters and the chemistry between them in many ways that are completely faithful to the book but are also new. I personally think this is perfect. Taking this approach allows longtime fans to see the faithful adaption that they have been dreaming of while also rewarding super fans with some new lore. During the interview, he was also asked what his favorite episode was, which he responded to as Oh gosh, it's hard to say without giving away too much, but I will say that there are several very important scenes that we adapted from the book that never made it into the movie versions. Those are probably my favorites in the show because it's the first time fans will see those rendered for the screen, and I think they'll be very pleased. Finally, he was asked if there were any easter eggs that you could share from the Disney Plus series that fans will appreciate. He responded saying, I have a cameo in the series, so if you can find it, you may spot a Rick Riordan in the wild. I personally think Rick will cameo as a desk guard at the Empire State Building. Now let's get into what I think will happen in each episode and how the story will be adapted. Starting with episode 1, I accidentally vaporized my pre-algebra teacher. From the trailer, we already know the series opener begins with Percy on a field trip, where he is subsequently attacked by Mrs. Dodds. I think we will see a scene with Gabe and his mom at home, followed by Percy and Sally going to the cabin in Montauk, where they subsequently get attacked by the Minotaur and Sally gets captured, with the episode ending with Percy defeating the Minotaur and getting carried back to camp to heal. This would mean that the first episode would cover chapters 1 to 5. On to episode 2. I became the supreme lord of the bathroom. I think this episode will mainly focus on Percy in Camp Half-Blood, getting to know everyone. Of course, he plays his first game of Capture the Flag, where he learns that he's the son of Poseidon. With the episode ending with Chiron revealing to Percy that the bolt has been stolen, and learning about the quest he will have to go on. This episode will therefore cover chapter 6 to chapter 9. Next we have episode 3. We visit the Garden Gnome Emporium. I predict this episode opens with the trio beginning their quest, 
And as evident by the title, I think this episode will also contain all the events from the start of the quest to the Battle of Medusa, with the episode ending with Medusa being slain, meaning episode 3 covers chapters 10 to 11. This would mean that the episode covers far fewer chapters than before, but of course something as cool as the Medusa battle is going to take up some more screen time. Then we have episode 4, I Plunge to My Death. This episode will most likely cover Percy's battle in the St. Louis Arch, where he battles the Chimera and eventually makes a massive jump as we see in the trailer. I think this episode ends with Percy seeing the news report about how he caused the St. Louis Arch explosion and how he's now a fugitive of the law. Therefore, this episode covers chapters 12 to 4. Next up is episode 5, A God Buys Us Cheeseburgers. As we see in the trailer, I think this episode begins with Ares meeting the trio who tells them to retrieve his shield from Waterland in exchange for transport to Los Angeles. Next would be the tunnel of love scene with the episode ending with Percy eventually learning the whole ride is a trap, meaning this episode would cover the events of chapter 15. Then we have episode 6, We Take a Zebra to Vegas. I think this episode opens with the trio meeting up with Ares again, where he gives them some supplies and an animal truck as transport, where they eventually end up in the infamous Lotus Casino. I think this is also where the majority of the episode will take place as well, with the episode ending with Percy realizing the casino is a trap. Also could there potentially be a Nico or Bianca reference? This episode will therefore cover chapter 16. Next we have episode 7, we find out the truth, sort of. I think this episode opens with Krusty's waterbed palace where they battle the monster that traps Annabeth and Grover in the bed. After the trio makes quick work of him, they make it to the gates of the underworld, with the episode ending with Hades revealing to Percy that the bolt has been in his backpack all along, meaning this episode covers chapters 17 to 19. Finally, we have the finale episode 8. The prophecy comes true. I believe this episode will open with Percy confronting Ares which eventually leads to their epic fight, with the rest of the episode being the trio trying to get to the Empire State Building before the deadline. I believe the finale will end with the scene of Luke betraying Percy and poisoning him. Luke will reveal his allegiance to Kronos, setting up the villain for the rest of the series. The final scene being Percy recovering and deciding to go home and promising to come to the camp the next summer thus covering the final chapters of the book. So that's how I think everything will play out. What about you guys? What do you guys think each episode will be about? Let me know down below. And until next time, see you guys later.